So, got a standard match for you, and it's against a guy by the name of Sir Dwarf Flark. Now, the interesting thing about this game is that I'm using pokes. I've used all these pokes before at least once, but they're in different ways, you know, just to try to uh, spice things up a little bit. You know, I got a lot of multiples of each poke, but uh, Jolteon, five years of con fucking competitive battling never used a life of jolty until this match i don't know what the fuck is wrong with me either don't ask uh gyarados we'll talk about him in a little bit uh Meloet is the scarf one from yesterday which didn't really see a lot of action does see a little bit more today and uh tornadus i believe is a bulk up acrobatic set which is very interesting but uh got some things happening and uh we'll talk about him so he's gonna go ahead and lead off with Breloom. i'm going to go ahead and lead off with jolteon i thought he was gonna lead off with politoed because you know instant weather war winning and whatnot and all that so i'd be able to volt switch get out of there and be good to go instead i have to go for a not very effective volt switch and uh decide what i want to sleep fodder i decide okay ferrothorn that's fine whatever you know i don't need hazards but i can switch it in at any time to take hits and maybe try to burn off sleep turns uh see how many i ended up getting so I was really scared of Tech Loom, and uh, it's actually a big relief to see Toxic Orb, because that means I don't have to feed priority or anything like that, but uh, the one thing I am just like really, I don't know, I did not expect to take this Focus Punch as poorly as I did, because I know that Tornadus got the boosted defenses, but maybe I'm just fucking underestimating Breloom or overestimating Tornadus' boost, because that was still a lot of damage, but he, I think he assumes right here that I'm special, so I decided to go for the bulk up. Uh, I went for the bulk up just on the off chance I would be able to take another focus punch in case he wanted to go for it and stay in again or something silly like that. But in reality, it was pretty obvious he's going to switch out. So now that he sees that I'm physical, for whatever reason, he decides to go out to Chansey. And I'm just like, that really doesn't compute, but you do whatever you want. So go for Brick Break on the Chansey. It does over half. And then the next turn, I don't know what it was. Call it me not giving shit on stream. Call it a misclick. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can just call it really fucking stupid what I do because, you know, I have the fighting coverage and then I have the flying coverage. I should have just gone for another Brick Break. I don't know why I didn't go for another Brick Break. I guess if you wanted to argue that he maybe could have switched in his Latios on that turn, yeah, maybe, but then I could have taken, taken him out with an Acrobatics on the next turn, so that just, it's kind of a moot point. But point is, is I waste my Flying Gem there, but at the same time, now that he brings in Politoed on this when I don't have a sub... I was kind of thinking that he was scarfed anyway, so it was kind of a catch-22, like, I don't have my flying gem anymore, should I try risking staying in? Or, you know, should I try risking him, uh, or stay, ris stay in and risk not killing him, or, like, stay in and risk him being scarfed? So, in both situations, it was just really fucking shitty. So, decided to go out into Ferrothorn. Uh, he gets a crit on the Ice Beam, I don't care, you know, it gives me some, it gives me a tiny opportunity to try and wake up. And I decide to just death fodder this thing because, you know, it's an excellent opportunity to try to get up the best move in the game while he tries to go for Focus Punch. If I wake up, great. If I don't, I negate his uh, Poison Heal for this turn just because Iron Barbs and Poison Heal are the same amount. So, hey. But I do get up my Stealth Rocks before I die, and uh, now I don't have anything to sleep. So he's free to put something else to sleep again, but I'm going to do my damn best not to let that happen. So, uh, get some damage on him. Whatever. Ferrothorn didn't do a whole hell of a lot. If you want to watch Ferrothorn do better things go watch different channels i don't i don't use it too much but it's it's a useful poke so uh i go into my mammal swine because ice move is really obvious and really good in this situation i'm not gonna over predict here you know try to go for the earthquake or anything like that might as well go for the icicle crash and the one thing i was predicting him to do right now is to either go for the uh the rapid spin or the gyro ball i figure in any case that you want to cut it uh jolteon is going to be an absolutely safe switch unless he has like the rogue as fuck earthquake which i've seen on a couple but going for earthquake on mammoth swine would just be i don't know i would expect a gyro ball over earthquake on that but uh he ends up going for the rapid spin which means that my ferrothorn did absolutely nothing this game except negate uh fucking poison heal for one turn but i go for the volt switch right there i didn't I don't know why I didn't want to go for T-Bolt. I guess maybe Latias was kind of a thing, but I could have just gone for T-Bolt right there, and then I would have been good. But, oh, you know why? I went for Volt Switch because I wanted to bring this thing in. I looked at the bottom screen, and you'll notice that I didn't get Regenerator. That's a mishap. I'm supposed to have, uh... Or, I'm supposed to have Regenerator, but uh, I have Prankster instead. Nothing really matters, because it's not like anything went for priority before I went for Bulk Up. Would have mattered maybe if he had a Tech Loom, but uh, he's just setting up stuff right now while I'm going for Acrobatics and stuff. I should have used him as Setup Fodder, but I guess I just really wasn't thinking. So, 
But either way, he just kind of brings in Lucario. See, if I did, like, bulked up a bunch, then maybe live in a bullet punch. I don't know. Probably would have taken a lot of them, but whatever. He ends up taking me out. That's fine. So, uh, bring in my Gyarados. This is the part that is more than fine, that is great, that is just like, wowie, we did it. This is great. So, uh, he is going to switch out and go into his Politoed, which is like, okay, maybe this thing is Scarf, just based on the way he's bringing it in. I'm going to T-Wave it. T-waving on Gyarados after this match, I have learned, is extremely fun. Because someone was like, oh, you're going for a pair flinching? I was like, it... well, now that you mention it, I guess I am. I, I forgot who I mooched this set off of. I was watching videos, and then either it was Nick, Ferris, or Fizzy that was using T-waving Gyarados. And I was like, hot damn, I want one of those. I think it was Fizzy. But um, I already had a bulky Gyarados. So I was like, we'll just give it T-wave, and then we'll just go from there. But I'd been getting, like, the weirdest luck with paralysis that morning with people T-waving me. So I was like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm bringing it on you guys, and we'll see how that works. And it turns out that in, like, the first three games I played, just anything that gets paralyzed is automatically crippled. Like, it gets parahax through the fucking roof at this point in the... At this point in the stream. But, uh, gonna go get up a DD, I believe, and then go for a waterfall. I don't think I get the flinch or the pair on this one. And he goes for a toxic, misses. This is arguably more important than any other fucking pair hacks he got. I don't know if he had, if he went for pair song on that first one or anything like that. Uh, or skull, whatever. But if he tried to go for toxic on the first one, maybe kind of matter. The toxic miss right here is just what I want you guys to focus on, because that's huge. Well, maybe not too huge, thinking about it. I... Well, actually, no. I think the Toxic overall would have benefited me. And you'll see why. Like, thinking about it, doing a little bit of critical thinking, yeah. But, goes for a Protect, I just had him take him out with the Waterfall. And Latias comes in, and I'm just like, sit your fucking red ass down, I ain't got time for your sub call mind and shit. And I think he gets fully paired on this one too, which is just like, Gyarados, what are you doing? This is awesome. Like, anytime I use Gyarados, it is... Ah, oh, very, very pleasant, but go for Waterfall on this one. I know that even if he got paralyzed, I think, like, the worst thing I would have had to fear is maybe, like, a, I don't know, like, a Specs Draco, some weird one running a T-Bolt. I didn't really have anything to fear from Latias at that amount of HP. It turns out he goes for a Psy Shock anyway, and he's got Life Orb, so he's just gonna push him, you know, a little bit closer to death as I go for a Waterfall, and, uh, Gyarados looking pretty good. And the name actually kind of works, because I didn't bring rain. My team looked kind of rainy at first, if that makes sense. But he's the one that brought it, and I'm just kind of the one that's benefiting from it with Gyarados only. Now, here is where I say that if I was toxic, it actually would have benefited me more. Because then he couldn't have put me to sleep, and then this shit wouldn't have happened. But, um... Ah, oh, now that I think about it, you know, toxic hitting would have been great. I mean, it's not like I was really taking that much damage on the other turns anyway. I probably would have been at around, like... 40% at this point, and he would have been forced to go for a Seed Bomb or a Stone Edge or whatever, but I would have gotten a safe switch in immediately to something else. So, uh, goes for a Focus Punch while I'm asleep, and I just figure, you know, I'm faster, I'll just try to burn off some sleep turns. That does a lot. I was not expecting that to do that much, and I was like, okay, maybe if he rolls a little bit lower on this one, I should be good to go, and I'll try staying in waking up. Doesn't work out, and he sets up a sub. Now, that play was a little questionable at the time, like, I have, I'm having trouble, like, putting two and two together, whether or not that was a good play there, but, uh, I personally think that he should have just gone for another focus punch, or maybe done a sub on the turn earlier, I'm thinking I'm not good at it, I, I, I had an idea for, like, why it was a bad idea at the stream, I just, I can't pull it from my memory anymore, but, uh, he goes for focus punch now, I do wake up and break the sub, I think the reason for that was he should have gone for sub earlier, just in case I woke up earlier, that kind of thing, and then he would have had another opportunity to spore, but, uh, now he's exposed, I think... That's what I was trying to say. Oh my god, fucking Pokemons. I'm having trouble thinking about it. But, bring this thing in. Not that it really ends up mattering too much. I think the only way it might have mattered, uh, whether or not it was Scarfed, is if his Lucario was a positive speed nature, in which case I actually outspeed it. And get off some really sizable damage with the Psychic. I think that's a modest mellow at it too. But he lives it. I think he told me 10 HP, goes for close combat, and that is a double down because he's life orb. but I'm pretty sure that my Jolteon is still alive, my, and my Mamoswine is still alive too, so, although it's a double down, that's uh, kind of a cool way to end the game, so, uh, that's gonna be the game, speaking of, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, you're welcome to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, and do your thing, I got plenty more games lined up for this week, and, uh, you know, try to get some fresh content coming out to you guys, TCG2 will be ending on 
Friday uh that lp for those of you that keep asking where tcgo is it is still down we can stop asking me this question it's supposed to be up later this month y you'll know when it's back up trust me i've got a lot of codes so there's that uh mega man battle network 3 in case you guys need reminders for anyone that was actually into battle network 2 i will be starting that lp up uh this monday i believe and uh, SCP Containment Breach this weekend. I still have to record that, but that is definitely what I have on the plate for you guys. And I think that's really all the news updates I feel like giving to you. So, anyways, that'll do it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!